Tangem is the most user-friendly wallet on the market, but you still have to know how to set it up and use it correctly if you want to keep your crypto safe. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up your Tangem wallet, how to manage different tokens in your wallet, how to transfer crypto to and from your Tangem wallet, as well as how to sell your crypto once you're ready to take a profit. And if you're watching this video and you're still considering buying the Tangem wallet, you can use our discount code in the description to get 10% off your entire order. Now let's get right into it. So let's start with the wallet setup. To set up your Tangem wallet, you only need two things, your cards and a phone with near field communication or NFC, which is most phones on the market today. And if you don't know if your phone has NFC, just do a quick Google search and you'll find out instantly. So the first step to setting up your Tangem wallet is to download the official Tangem app. It's important that you download only the official app and not a potential fake as this would compromise the security of your wallet. You can find the official Tangem app in the app store. Just type in Tangem into the search bar and it should pop up. Once you install the app, just just open up the app and tap scan card and hold up any one of your cards to start the setup process. Notice there are a few options for setting up your wallet. Option number one is to create wallet. This will generate a new wallet without a seed phrase. That means only your cards act as a backup. So if you were to lose all of your cards, you would never be able to access your crypto again. That's why I prefer to tap other options. And from there, you can choose to either generate a seed phrase or import one. You can only generate a 12 word seed phrase using Tangem. However, you can import up to 24 words if you already have a seed phrase from another wallet that you want to use on your Tangem wallet. For the sake of this video, I'm going to generate a new seed phrase. If you want, this is where you can turn on airplane mode for increased privacy. Just know if you have malware on your phone, for example, turning on airplane mode won't necessarily prevent someone from seeing what you're doing. Again, this is only if you suspect that you have malware installed on your phone, which if that's the case, I would not be setting up the Tangem wallet on your phone until you got that figured out. Now tap generate seed phrase and write down your 12 words before storing them in a secure place. The next step requires you to verify three of the 12 words in the correct order to confirm that you wrote down the seed correctly. Now tap create wallet, but before scanning your card, you want to turn airplane mode off because you need a connection to activate the card. Next, you have to add your backup cards. How many backup cards you add depends on whether you bought the two or three pack. Just tap add backup card and scan the next card. If you have another card, add the last backup or if you only have two cards total tap finalize the backup note that once the backup process is finished you can't add more cards later on so make sure you add all of your cards like if you have a three pack make sure to add all three cards to your wallet otherwise later you can't go back and add the extra one in unless you completely reset your cards and create a brand new wallet next you'll need to create an access code this code protects all of our cards in case one is stolen and will be required when making a transaction keep in mind that an access code can be reset if you you have two cards so it's best to store your cards in a separate location after typing in your access code scan the primary card which is the first card you scanned when you began the process then scan your backup cards to complete the setup process now before i get into how to transfer crypto using your tangent wallet let's look at some of the super important features that you'll find in the tangent app once your wallet is created you'll notice that only ethereum and bitcoin are listed in your token section so how do you add new tokens just tap manage tokens and use a search bar to find any tokens you want to manage. Let's say I plan to manage Shiba Inu. All I have to do is type in SHIB to bring up the token. From there, you can select which network your token is on. This will vary by coin, of course. For SHIB, it's available on Ethereum as an ERC20 token and on BNB Smart Chain as a BEP20 token. So simply enable your preferred chain and save changes, and then bam, your token will show up in the token list. Now, if you want to hide a token from your list, just long hold on a token and tap hide token. You can always add it back if you want. But what about adding a custom token that's not listed on Tangem. For example, Tangem Wallet can manage all ERC-20 tokens, yet not all ERC-20 tokens are listed on the Tangem Wallet, but no worries, you can add a custom token. To add a custom ERC-20 token, for example, tap Manage Tokens, then tap the plus icon, select the network of the token you're adding, then paste the contract address, and it should auto-populate all the other details. Then if everything looks good, tap Add Token, and voila, your token will appear in the token list. As well, there are some other important features you should know about. If you go to Settings, then App Settings, you can choose your currency. You can also enable Keep Wallet in App. All this means is that you won't have to scan your card every time you open the app to access your wallet. Instead, your phone will use biometric authentication to unlock it. 
Of course, signing transactions will still require you to tap your card for signature approval. But if you want to sign transactions without having to tap your card, you can enable the save access code feature, which will require biometric authentication whenever making a transaction instead. And then you can also hide your balances if you enable this feature. Plus you can change the theme. So this is light and dark mode options. Also, if you have multiple Tangem wallets, more than three, you can add multiple wallets to the Tangem app. Just go to settings, tap add new wallet, and then you can set up another wallet that way. I know a lot of people ask, how do you get your Tangem wallet onto another phone? If you lose your phone or maybe you have multiple phones, all you have to do is go to your secondary phone, download the Tangem app, scan your card, and then enter your access code and your wallet will be ready to go. You don't have to go through the setup process again as your wallet is already created. Okay, so next we need to get some crypto onto our Tangem wallet. For this example, I'm going to transfer some Matic from my MetaMask wallet to my Tangem wallet. But regardless of which crypto you're transferring to your Tangem wallet, the process is the same. So this is just the crypto that I'm transferring. But if you're transferring uh, Shiba Inu or Dogecoin, it's all going to be the same process. So to start, first we need to add the token that we want to transfer to our token list. Since I'm going to receive Matic in Tangem, I'm going to add Matic to my token list. My Matic is on the Polygon main network, so I'll enable that. Now just tap your token, then tap receive and copy the public address. Then go to the wallet or exchange that you're sending crypto from, tap send and paste your Tangem public address into the recipient spot. Then choose the amount you want to send and confirm the transaction. Depending on the network you're using, it can take a few seconds to a few minutes to arrive in your Tangem wallet. Again, this process is the same whether you're sending crypto from another wallet or a crypto exchange to your Tangem wallet. And sending crypto out of your Tangem wallet is just as easy. Go to the receiving wallet. In my case, it's MetaMask. Copy the public address of the coin that you're sending to it. Go back to your Tangem wallet, tap the coin you want to send, hit send and paste the public address from your other wallet or exchange. Then choose the amount you want to send and hit send. So what about selling the crypto that you have on your Tangem wallet? Well, there are a couple options to sell your crypto. You can do it directly in the Tangem app by tapping the coin you want to sell and hit sell. However, I don't recommend this option as it's very limited because you can only sell a limited amount. So what I prefer to do is send my crypto back to a crypto exchange and sell it there. To do that, just log into whatever crypto exchange you use. I prefer Kraken. Go to the coin you want to sell and copy the public address, also called the deposit address. Then go back to the Tangem wallet, tap the crypto you want to send, paste the deposit address from your exchange, choose your amount, and hit send. Since you're sending your crypto to an exchange, this process can take a bit longer versus just sending it to your Tangem wallet. When I sent my Matic to my Kraken account, it took about 10 minutes to arrive. Once it does arrive, just go to your portfolio on your crypto exchange, choose a coin you want to sell and tap sell. This will convert it to your native currency. Then you can withdraw it into your bank account. But all that said, the Tangem wallet still might not be for everyone. So make sure to check out my full review right here to find out if Tangem is a wallet for you. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video.